pretty much guaranteed with me. Even fights that I've lost, they've usually been fighting in my performances. So no matter what happens, they're going to get a good fight out of me because I always turn up to fight. I'm never coasting. I'm never trying to stall out a match. I'm, you know, as soon as the bell goes, I'm always like 100% just looking for the finish, looking for the win. So uh, I wouldn't call it pressure. It's just, you know, it's part of the sport. If you want to be a professional MMA fighter, you need to entertain people. Otherwise, nobody's going to come watch a fight. And that's it. Do you expect her to come flying out at you? I, uh, I don't think so. I, I think she has a kind of ploddy style, like from what I can see. Uh, she looks like a jiu-jitsu girl in MMA. That's what she looks like to me. She looks like, you know, she, she probably has a, a decent level jiu-jitsu game and maybe beforehand that has worked against lower level opponents, you know, to be able to go out and pull guard and submit them. But uh, like I said, I've never been submitted in, what, 20 odd fights now at this stage. My jiu-jitsu is very high level, you know. People people can't underestimate my jiu-jitsu. I'm a, I'm a BJJ brown belt from SBG, those belts aren't taken lightly at all and to be honest uh, I'm, I'm probably a black belt now, I'm not far off but, you know, my jiu-jitsu has taken such a big jump over the last uh, couple of months and whatever and I'm training jiu-jitsu a long, long time I'm probably training jiu-jitsu since I was 14, you know what I mean I'm 27 now, just because I, I don't have the, an actual black belt doesn't mean my skills aren't there, so no, she really uh, there's nothing there to phase me You know what to expect from the crowd Ashing, do you feed off that or do you mentally try and block it out? Um, the, to me I don't try either way to, to block it out or, or to kind of feed off it. I try and be independent because I don't like the idea of being reliant on something that is out of my control. Control the controllables, that's one of the things I always like to say. So I, I fought in all sorts of conditions. I fought in the like, really hostile conditions. I fought in really kind of positive towards me conditions. So I'm definitely excited to feel the crowd and I'll, I'll feel it and I'll enjoy it while I'm walking. But then there'll be a certain point where it's just like, okay, that door's closing now. It's me who are in the ref in there and that's it the crowd can't help me now so I need to depend on me and my skills and do you think do you like to see yourself maybe as a role model as well to, to young Irish women is that kind of how you'd like to see yourself maybe um, I don't like to see myself like that but I, I, I've, I've fallen into that role you know people tell me oh I, I look up to you or you're a role model for these people or whatever and because I've been told that that's the case that makes me want to, to be a positive role model I, I do I don't feel like I do anything extra I, I feel like I'm just being myself but I really want to show what it takes to be a top level female athlete and then I always want to be a positive influence on, on people you know there's so many you know minor B-list Z-list celebrities whatever you know, giving bad ideas to girls, you know, oh, you need to be skinny and starving yourself, you need to look like this, your hair needs to be this way, and I'm just all about, I want my body to be functional. Once I'm healthy and capable to compete in the sport that I'm in, that's exactly what I want. My looks, I'm not trading on my, my looks, I, I wouldn't consider myself to be a good looking girl, but it's nothing to do with that it doesn't matter what you look like I'm more about being a positive person it's what you give off to people if you're happy and you're positive then that'll all come back to you you know what I mean the nicer you are to people the more you care about people the more you care about the world care about your environment care about the people around you that all comes back to you so I'd rather just be be super positive I just want to be positive to everybody that I'm around but I want to be that person <laughs> not that person <laughs> I want to be that person that people like to be around, you know, people go, oh, Ash is cool, you know, she's fun to be around, I don't want to be that mopey person going, it's raining today, or whatever, so what if it's raining, you know, go and dance now. Missing out in the card last year, Ash, it must be extra special, you know, fighting this weekend. Yeah, definitely. That's one been a huge motivation for me. Yeah, it, to, to me, I felt like I, I missed like like a child growing up or something. Uh, to not be here last year when this happened for something that I helped build. You know what I mean? I started off when there was a handful of guys in a shed. You know what I mean? And then suddenly all these guys are fighting on the UFC card in Dublin, and I'm not there for it. And I have to miss my teammates walking out. And it was such an epic night and so many fantastic performances and just amazing like you know to hearing about the buzz after people talking to me being like oh my god like the vibrations in your chest it was like somebody put a speaker on your chest it was amazing the crowd like in the house having Dana and Lorenzo come up to me and be like oh my god Dublin was like the crazy show like the wildest crowd we've ever I'm like oh I miss that like that sucked so bad so to have this opportunity now I'm just like I can't wait for it you know it's, it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to be an old lady and I'm going to be like, I remember I fought in Dublin that time, like, it's going to be like that for me.
Uh, you mentioned the noise there and the atmosphere that's going to be there on Saturday night. Is there anything you have to do psychologically or is there something you just can't prepare yourself for on Saturday night? No, I don't think I would be able to prepare myself for it. Uh, from what I've been told, it's like no matter what you think it's going to be, it's going to be a hundred times better. You know, so uh, honestly I'm just excited. I, I'm really excited to see it. Like, uh, Irish people are the best fans in the world. Like, you know, I've fought in so many places, you know, so many different shows, met so many different people. And there's just something about being Irish. I think if those two lads spitting off a bridge, and you know, when it was Irish, there'd be a thousand people behind them. Go on! Go on! You know, like it'd just be like Irish people are just so enthusiastic about their athletes, you know what I mean? So you, you, I just can't wait to experience that. I can't wait to be, be part of that. You know, obviously, I've fought in Dublin before, I fought in Ireland before, but not with this whole fighting Irish, the Irish invasion. Like it's it's more than just a kind of sport now, it's, a, it's almost like a movement. It's like a, I feel almost like it's like a positive movement for Irish. Irish people achieving things in general. I think even like with Connor winning the, the championship and stuff like that, he's inspiring people not only in mixed martial arts but you know people in business like fuck let's get out here and do something. Like th this Irish guy who came from Crumlin was on the dole, didn't have anything. This Irish girl who's from Drimna didn't have anything, came from nothing, Paddy, whoever, we're all just like we're doing something. It's like so if I can do it, I'm just a normal person like you. Why can't you do it? Let's all get up and do something. So I feel like it's just there's so much positivity being spread just from what's the MMA success we're having as a country. What about Paddy Ash? Obviously, you two are best mates. How, how good is it to know he's going to be the main event from Court and Razor, the headliner? I know. I mean, what, what was the reaction like with you guys? I know you're very close. To be honest, like there was part of us that was kind of like we're nearly expecting this, you know? Oh, really? You know, yeah. We were we were thinking that you know something might happen, or maybe not the the main event slot, but definitely the co-main event slot. We were. Kind of thinking, I'm delighted for him. Like you know, but Paddy's kind of the same as myself. Like we're just super positive about everything, and you know, he was like, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be the headline or whatever. Like, and even if I'm not the headline, I'm the people's headline. You know, so now the people's headline is actually the headline. So that's the best thing. Like, so I'm delighted for him. He's just reveling, and Paddy's just enjoying himself. Paddy's like, and people seem to think like the card's taking a big knock here. And Paddy obviously got the biggest, some of the biggest cheers last year when you know he's the first fight. Do you think? It's going to be the same electric atmosphere for the main event. Oh, that we saw. I don't think this is going to make a difference. I think the people who have gotten tickets, especially because the tickets were kind of a little bit, um, they were kind of a bit scarce to get and they were kind of allocated a bit weird this year compared to last year. It seems to be mostly the, the hardcore fans that have gotten them. So I'm kind of happy about that. But I think the place will be going crazy. You know, it has me, it has Cole, it has Siri, it has Paddy. Like, if you're an Irish MMA fan and we're all on the card, you know, that, that's the, the best thing. MMA night of you can get, you know what I mean? Like the only thing that would probably make it a tiny bit better would be like, you know, Connor on it or whatever, like just to get the whole the whole crew in. But uh, no, that's everything you want, you know. That's your that's your tea and biscuits. <laughs> Ashley, for someone who's never seen you fight, how would you describe your style? Um, I'm very aggressive. That's the way I describe it. Uh, I have a very aggressive ground and pound style. I like to finish fights, so uh, I'll always just get stuck in. Sometimes I'll take one to give one, but uh, yeah, I just I just get in there and have. Have a, have a bit of a knock as they say so uh, yeah I enjoy I enjoy having a scrap I like that but I have I have beautiful jiu jitsu so I have some lovely finishes as well so you might see me swinging for defences and then pulling somebody's arm off and ask for the win on Saturday night will you be in, uh, in Paddy's corner in the main event? Um, I won't be in Paddy's corner for the main event just because we had to give our corner information in weeks ago and we were so close together at that point so they won't let us change us that's just UFC red tape but you'll definitely see me ringside I'll sneak me away and I'm only little I'll be <laughs> in there what do you know of your opponent? Um, 